COVID-19 is happening. It's completely different from flu and people are actually dying. Uh, I know it's a contagious virus can let people die and uh, the obvious um, sim symptoms are um, have a cold and a fever cough. COVID-19 just, I mean, it, it kind of swept in and we had heard some things about it. Um, and then all of a sudden when we shut down, it was very, very quick. It affected my life personally because I have been, I was diagnosed with it back in July and uh, I had to quarantine and my wife and I both had it. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, it's pretty important to me that everybody do what they're supposed to do. And I was only quarantined for a very short time because of when my point of contact was. But uh, other people had a lot worse than what I did. I had a very mild case. When it comes down to those areas, like my senior seminar, it has been the toughest thing for me to personally do. Mostly because of if we want to go get something, we can't get that. But as we went down the line, we realized we need way more than we, we got. The dining hall, they can grab food with boxes. They used to have plastic boxes, but now they don't have any more. They changed the paper boxes. And we have plastic wool in class to keep distance. Music class that we are taking. In the music class, the class was divided into two groups. And then I just go to class on Thursday. I've always wanted to walk across the stage for graduation. And the class last, this past year, they couldn't walk across the stage. And I mean, we might not be able to walk across the stage in the spring. We obviously, well, that's obviously an unknown. So I feel like that definitely impacted the students then. And I feel like it'll definitely impact the students in the future as well. It will definitely impact me personally because, I mean, I've worked so hard to be walking across that stage. So I was supposed to go home this summer, but all the airports are shut down. So... Uh, I kind of get stuck in here. We would have loved to go on vacation this year somewhere, but uh, we're definitely not going to do that. So, yeah, it's limiting things that we're doing uh, personally, yes. I was um, hoping I can travel with my friend this summer, but like um, COVID let everything change and uh, um, I was. Yeah, I hope I can um, go to class in person, and um, so I just stay here. Uh, I just think it's more important for me, like the studies for me, it's um, more important than I went home to like see my family or friends, and I prefer um, um, study in class, not online, because I don't like the online meetings, and um, I miss my friends, I want to see them, so so I hope I can stay here. Uh, we've constantly had to keep changing things, adding things that we thought we needed, and we've had to stay on campus while doing that. That's really tough to do because a lot of things we needed were off campus, but with the restrictions, everything going on, COVID has essentially told us you can only stay here. You can only be here, and it's made that aspect of my uh, degree that much harder. Productions have been weird as well, because usually we'd be able to be like brown people and we'd be able to film how we normally do. Like we had to do a theater production where we had to film live stream the uh, production and the performance. I think what happened to me has happened to a lot of people. Our routines get completely turned upside down. It, it kind of took me two weeks to be able to decompress, right, um, and to... Um, figure out a plan for the rest of the time that we were going to be home. Be very, very careful what you do, who you're around. Uh, you know, there there are people, and I've had a couple people do this to me personally, uh, and, and this was before I had it, uh, 
tell me they were going to spit on me and, and act like they were going to spit on me and just being foolish. And, you know, that's nothing to play around with because uh, you can infect people with a very, very serious disease and, uh, you know, it could be life-changing for them or, or for somebody else, you know. Uh, you just don't want to play around with it. It's very serious. Like on campus, we have to wear masks. And I got my own room this semester due to this COVID-19. Like I was making a plan to go to Korea in summer, but it was canceled. And also I was, I wanted to hang out with my friends, but it was canceled. And like everything was canceled due to the COVID-19. So my summer break was kind of boring. I also played sports here. And I know every single sport team, they have to, they are separated in, in each pod. And um, that means different, you know, separate groups and stuff like that. They have to have different practice times. I personally would go crazy over that because like me, you play better when you have your whole team together and you don't know how other players play. You don't know, you know, all their qualities and stuff like that. So that would definitely impact a team in general. I mean, even, even a, a team chemistry too, I feel like that would impact simply because you can't just casually go over to a friend's house on campus and be like, hey, I'm here to hang out because of COVID. I mean, either you wear a mask or you just don't hang out with anybody simply because of social distancing. Like we were supposed to have the Olympic in Tokyo this year and then I was going to volunteer for it, but it was canceled. But it's a challenge I'm willing to accept if it means I have to crunch something in in four weeks, five weeks. But I'll probably crunch it into a week or two just because that's how I am personally. So COVID has just thrown another obstacle in the way. And it's kind of forced some of us to go. And or some of us to go and push ourselves to get that done or work around this or really show our true colors in a stressful situation. At first, I was worried about coming back to Muskingo and my parents was also worried about me, but I think you're doing fine. If I pay the same tuition, like my parents pay the same tuition, it's better to come back here and to take classes in person because I think that's what study abroad means. They're, they're finding that you can get it again. Uh, I don't want it again. Even though I had a very mild case, I might not get so lucky the next time. Uh, and I think a lot of other people probably are in the same situation. <laughs>